Two of the following videos are true while the other one is trash. Can you spot the fake? Season 2, Episode 3. Round 1, let's begin. First up, take a jar of water, cover it tightly in saran wrap, poke a few small holes, and bring the water to a boil in the microwave. Next, quickly screw the lid back on. The hot water is not currently boiling, but if you place ice cubes on top of the jar and wait a few moments, the water inside the jar will start to boil. If you take tonic water that contains quinine, pour it into a glass, and shine a black light slash UV flashlight on it, you'll see that it glows brightly. Here's a glass of tap water next to it for comparison. First, take a glass bottle full of water and cover it firmly with a shot glass. Then flip it over, keeping it sealed momentarily. When you start to lift the bottle up so it's no longer in contact with the shot glass, the shot glass can't do anything to stop the flow of water and the entire bottle drains. You've seen all three videos now, pause to vote in the comments which one you thought was fake. Tonic water that contains quinine actually does glow under the black light. Quinine is a fluorescent chemical. It absorbs light in the ultraviolet spectrum and then emits it as longer wavelength light that is part of the visible spectrum us humans can see. If you thought this video was fake, you'd be wrong. Placing ice on top of a jar cools slash condenses some of the water vapor inside which creates a partial vacuum. The hot water can boil at a lower temperature when it's at this lower pressure. I needed to make sure the majority of the gas inside the jar when it's sealed was water vapor. That's why I used saran wrap and poked holes. When the water was boiled in the microwave, the rising steam displaced most of the air. Anyway, that means this video was fake. When you actually do this demo as I originally described, the water does not spill out of the shot glass as the bottle is lifted. That's because atmospheric pressure is pushing on the surface of the water, opposing the weight of the water column. What I did in this example was use a glass drill bit and made a hole at the top of the glass bottle. This hole means that atmospheric pressure is now pushing on the top surface and bottom surface of the water, canceling each other out and the weight of the water column causes it to easily spill out. Next up, it's time for round two. If you place a tennis ball in the freezer and leave it overnight, the cold makes it stiffer, meaning it will bounce a bit higher than a room temperature tennis ball when dropped from the same height. If you place a tangerine in a glass of water, it will float, but if you remove the peel, the tangerine will sink. If you place a large dry pine cone in water and wait a few hours, the pine cone will close and become quite noticeably smaller. You've seen all three videos now, pause to vote in the comments which one you thought was fake. If you thought colder tennis balls bounce higher, you'd be wrong. It's the opposite, the colder, stiffer tennis ball bounces substantially less high. Removing the peel of a tangerine releases some of the trapped air inside, which is why a peeled tangerine does sink. A dry pine cone also does close when soaked in water for an extended period of time, and it's pretty cool to see in a time lapse. Now it's time for the final round, round three. If you place soap on the backside of a leaf that is floating on a pan of water, once the soap reaches the water, the leaf is propelled forward. If you've been subscribed for a while now, you know that soaking an egg in vinegar creates a bouncy yet somewhat fragile egg. However, if you take that bouncy egg and let it soak in maple syrup overnight, the inner yolk and whites also solidify into a squishy egg that can't be as easily popped and is more elastic. When you see the flame of a candle, it looks like a solid flame. But if you take a strainer and place it over the flame, you can see that these flames are actually hollow. You've seen all three videos now, pause to vote in the comments which one you thought was fake. If you thought soap on its own can propel a floating leaf, you'd be correct. Also, candle flames are actually hollow. That means this video was fake. Placing a bouncy egg in maple syrup overnight does sort of solidify the yolk, creating one of the most unpleasant textures in the world. But it doesn't make a rubber egg like this one. I just swapped this toy egg with the real egg while you weren't paying attention. Thanks for watching till the end and I'll see you next time.